Welcome to the Tipsy Lime. Today we're going to be doing a podcast on how to Vogue. I'm your co-host Sasha. And I'm your co-host Riley. And that's right, we're filling your closet with all the right outfits for 2021. Now, we decided this was an important topic because of something that happened at work the other day. Uh, My coworker comes up to me and she's like, my sister sent me a picture of my niece. And my niece is wearing a cropped sweater over a turtleneck with orange crop jeans. Hold on. This is like a lot for me to visualize right here. I know. I know. What a combo. Right? Right? It's, there's a lot going on there. Let's put it that way. So she asks me, is this in style? Honestly, I have no clue. (laughs) I don't know if you have a thought on that, but. Can you say that again? Yeah. So it's a cropped sweater. Yeah. Over a turtleneck. Over a turtleneck. With orange cropped jeans so i'm feeling like a capri vibe on yeah bottom. yeah okay interesting i don't know how i yeah. feel about the turtleneck yeah a lot usually i i get it for like business casual mm. if you have not even but just like for you know going to meet the parents or you know <laughs> going to some kind of little like family party mm. wearing one of those like college shirts and like a little sweater over that mm. but i don't know i cannot go with the turtleneck and then like a cropped thing with that i mean i'm biased because i hate turtlenecks altogether <laughs> i think they're the ugliest thing known to man and on top i love of turtles it, i'm not gonna lie i, I love them <laughs> turtles but. turtles i love turtlenecks not so much i just feel like i'm being choked when i wear them and then when people wear them like literally suffocation the, bro the only person that can pull it off is my mom the mm only person known to man is so is her closet your favorite closet to raid oh god no (laughs) (laughs) when i was a child she dressed me in this knit sweater dress that was pink orange and white and it was just the most uncomfortable like it was too cute (laughs) for me which is funny because i like wearing cute clothes but it was like too high fashion i don't know how to describe it so since then i like won't let her oh, dress me my gosh i don't let my mom cut my hair anymore because <gasps> in my childhood mm-hmm. this um the vogue thing apparently for moms to do and i'm sure you can relate is cutting the bangs straight on yeah i'm sure guys mm-hmm. can relate as well with the bowl cut or mm-hmm. something like that because my mom would would do that to my little brother as well <laughs> but yeah it's just like Sharper than like, <laughs> sharper than a knife. <laughs> yeah, sharper than the sharpest cheddar cheese. I tell you, if I, I don't know, if I put all my trust in you, I walk into a hair salon. You are my hairstylist. What's going on? <laughs> Let's just say you're not coming out of there the same person. <laughs> Do you see my nervous tick? I'm like literally, I'm so nervous even thinking about it. I can't, I can't. Oh my God. Wow. Okay. So, Mm. so basically I would just have like uh, a bald head and then just like nervous buzzed on. Yeah. The word nervous. Because that's how. Exactly. You might end up like Obi-Wan Kenobi where he has the little like braid going down and then the shave. Who is or was your inspiration for fashion? As of recent baby rexa like that that, she's the reason i dyed my hair blonde and she rocks all of it and i want her confidence so bad let's be honest like (laughs) hagrid is my inspiration (laughs) i just i just feel like you know my spirit animal is Mm. probably a flying cow because you know being from wisconsin Mm -hmm. migrating from florida to wisconsin and traveling you know just a cow that can fly and stuff like that and i feel like hagrid with his animal animals he'd be yeah he'd be the one to have a flying cow and stuff like that so i gotta i feel like at college just every instance of high fashion goes out the window because high fashion though i've seen like people wear like street style and what street style is like more like baggy clothing right there for me i think there's a difference between street style and baggy clothes (laughs) and just the grout fit or the straightforward straightforward sweatpants and a sweatshirt I call it the I don't care look. The I don't care look. (laughs) Or should we say the I don't give a fuck look? Oh yeah. It's like street style gone very, very wrong. (laughs) If you're going to be in Wisconsin, you got to take inspiration from your chair. 
for fashion. Your chair. Your chair. Because your chair has probably a lot of clothes <laughs> just hanging off it. And so you got to take inspiration from that and just take mm. everything off the chair and put it on you. Mm. All the layers because mm-hmm. it's so cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you definitely want to layer up if you're in Wisconsin. Now, however, if it's you like get a challenge to be fashionable in Wisconsin because it's cold and you it's... just have zero motivation. For those who live in cold climates, it's all about the coat. Canadian goose. Yeah. I mean, I'm not willing to spend that much oh, on a coat. That's just Patagonia. Me, but... Patagonia. <laughs> I know that my brother was all about Patagonia for a while. But I actually noticed that every time I go anywhere here, at least in Wisconsin, mm-hmm. people just in fashion wise, people just comment on my coat. Oh, is that new? Is that a new coat? Oh my gosh. Or my or your hat. Oh yeah. The amount of compliments I get. Oh my god, I love the pom pom on your hat. It's so cute. Oh <laughs> I'm like, god. guys, really? Really? You can't even get to the bottom layers to comment on the cute outfit I'm actually wearing. I know, I know. There's zero effort to actually just like <laughs> even like try to dress nicely underneath. And the hard thing too is You can't even wear cute shoes. It's more of like, oh, you're wearing a Sorel boot. Wow, you are in high fashion over here. I did try to get nice boots. You did? Like with heels. You did? Yeah. And I, you know, I tried. They were pretty warm. So uncomfortable. (laughs) It's just not worth it. And you can't wear heels in snow because you're going to immediately trip. (laughs) So basically, you can't vogue in Wisconsin is the consensus. Actually, you can. You know, if you have a really nice swimsuit. You know, it's definitely tanning. It might be cold outside, but the sunshine comes out and the swimsuits come out for tanning. <laughs> if you've seen our promo, you know what we're talking oh, yeah. about. Oh, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's going to be very, very easy for you to dress like the people who are running on pa- Paris Fashion Week, New York Fashion Week. Mm. I mean, I saw Prada going out there in like egg dresses. Um, donut dresses, mm. a jackfruit dress mm. with interesting, interestingly enough, no armholes coming out of it, which was pretty quizzical. Um, but you know, we're just gonna go with it. But there's a very easy way for you to take inspiration from that as a college student. <laughs> Basically, when you're eating breakfast, just let use no napkins, just like wipe. <laughs> everything that's on your hands or whatever just on your shirt there boom you're dressing like prada with those like food dresses out in fashion week you know food stains are the in is what i'm hearing so it yeah. doesn't matter i don't need to change shirts anymore i, I can just enjoy the burrito stain all over me right and it also strikes up conversation mm. right it's easier to meet people because people be like oh my god is that like a, a burrito stain? Wait, I did you also eat bur- love burritos. Oh my God, did you eat a burrito this morning? Me too. And now, five years later, they're married now with kids. <laughs> you never know what can happen from a burrito stain. <laughs> oh my God. Speaking of burritos, though, you know, not to bring up another work story. Me and we have way too much free time on our hands. Here we Let's go. just Here say we go. that. But... One of my coworkers is telling me that her boyfriend bought her a burrito blanket for <gasps> her birthday. I'm not going to lie. I, <laughs> talk about like really, you know, mm-hmm. stupid ways to spend money and everything mm-hmm. like that and just not worth it. I was going to buy me one of those. <laughs> not going to lie. Yeah. What did she say though? Not going to lie. She was like, I was giving him hints at jewelry, but instead oh I get God. this blanket that looks like a tortilla shell. Oh, that's bad, though. Yeah. I get it as a joke, yeah. but if your girl is hinting at jewelry and you get yeah. her a burrito blanket, bro, you messed up. He messed up. Oh my. And to go along, keeping with the school theme, how do we feel about messy buns? Oh, Definitely. I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. I think messy buns. Guys love that too. (laughs) I, so I have heard. But they also like it when girls are like not trying. Yeah. And, but you gotta like be able to pull off that look basically. (laughs) So, which is pretty easy to do though. Just throw in some sweats. Um, you know, a tank or whatever, messy bun. You're should we good do it to right? Should, we, should I do it right now? I can, I'm pretty <laughs> a little sure demo I can. here. Should we? Should we demo? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready? Just, just take off the sunglasses, okay? <laughs> okay, and then, and then, literally, guys think it's so hot when you just go like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> done. Yeah. Dude. Done. Oh, oh my gosh. Except hot, don't get so your hoop hot. caught. Don't hoop. get your hoop caught. But like. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. How do we feel about man buns? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm going to say 99.9% .9 of the time. No, no way. It's a very rare thing. Of no way. Off, okay. Like. Not to bring up Jim guy again, but he did like Jim this. guy. Jim guy. But he did. Okay. Jim Hold guy, again, like, for those of you who haven't heard this. the previous episodes, he, did, like, he is a guy that has been showing up at the gym, and they've been having, like, this flirtatious thing going on. <laughs> We've only but glanced at each he's, other, he's but gone now. flirty eyes is what I say. Uh, but he did this whole, like, like half up, like, mm. this kind of thing. I was like, damn, I dig it. But on 90% of guys, sorry, let me redo my stats, 99.9% .9 of guys, <laughs> I feel like it's just gross like it seems like their hair is unkept my boyfriend's brother has better hair than me i don't get <laughs> how do guys have better hair than girls when they grow it all long? it's the same with the eyelashes some guys have super curly eyelashes and i don't understand and it just ticks me off every time because i'm like that's all i want in life <laughs> <laughs> i do think it is in style now Especially with COVID oh, and that happening. I mean, you see Trevor Lawrence rocking that stuff. Yes. He keeps it well done. Like, it looks clean. It looks styled. And I'm like, that's attractive. Mm -hmm. If you want to rock long hair, as long as you keep it clean and styled, <laughs> I'm for it. Yeah. I am all for it. For those of you that are looking for a job, you got to manifest it and dress <laughs> for the job that you <gasps> want. Dress well, test well. Right? So... For example, I would dress like I'm in I'm in bed. I would dress with a with a pillow taped to my head because mm -hmm. the only work I want to do is sleep. <laughs> so <laughs> I'll be walking around with my pillow and my blanket. If you want to dress for a job, you gotta dress like Sasha, trench coat, <laughs> like pony up, like you are the star student, A plus, wow. teacher's pet, everything, and just show them. Who is boss? Oh That's my all gosh. I'm saying. Do not wear stripes. For the rest of you Don't listening, I'm definitely looking like Hagrid right now, so just channel that. <laughs> and again, oh, shut time. Let's uh, cheers to our fashionable moms and uh, growing up with our own sense of taste and hair and also style because Lord knows we couldn't have kept up without those bangs. <laughs> no. Oh my God, side bangs. Mom showed me a picture the other day. I was like, ooh, ooh. Can we never oh, go yeah. back? Oh, yeah. I love that. Love that. <laughs> and also, cheers back. to the Aeropostal, like, and the Hollister that got us mm. through the middle school and high school days. <laughs> cheers. All right. So, we have to discuss best and worst trends, and we're talking all through history. And I think the biggest one we need to start with is those saggy pants i'm talking mm. 2000s boys who were showing off their underwear mm. is please tell me that's never coming back no i actually haven't seen saggy pants in a long long while <laughs> do we think it's one that's going to you know come back yeah i feel like trends always come back at some point probably it maybe scares me. <laughs> can we talk about like walmart or like target clothes though Walmart, I have bought shoes from there and they have lasted me for like a year or two. And I'm so shook at that. I was not expecting Walmart to like last that long. And also Target has some like cool things, but but let's be real, Marshalls is where it's at. Marshalls. <laughs> you know what the saddest, saddest story of my life is? Oh no. Marshalls only goes up to a size 10 in shoes and i'm totally outing myself here because i'm an 11. Oh. yeah i have giant feet but it is so sad because they sell the cutest stuff on, represent represent i'm just saying the big feet ladies need shoes <laughs> birkenstocks what's your take why not sure they're okay i don't own any <laughs> <laughs> i can remember in high school Again, going back, I don't know, something with freshman year, but freshman year, that was the shoe to have. And if you didn't have shows. it, like, let's get some shoes. You were not cool. I was oh not my cool God. freshman year. You don't year. have Burks? Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Sorry, you can't sit with us. Sorry, I'm not a Jesus kid. Sorry, I don't wear Burks. Oh, that's that's the qualification. Right <laughs> that's there. well, it's no, it's they literally call him the Jesus sandal because they look like that. the Jesus sandal. Oh. That's why it's like, you know, the oh, quotes. I see. Like Jesus, like BC. No, before Christ. Yeah, BC, like three thousand. <laughs> So I again repeat his time travel does exist (laughs) (laughs) all and all the way back to the BC times. No, I was on to the Uggs. Mm. Uggs. I will wear those till the day I die. (laughs) I will. They're so comfortable. They're kind of ugly, but they're so ugly. (laughs) I see what they did there. I like how they're embracing that they're ugly by naming them Uggs. But they're not ugly. I mean, they're ugly, but they're so ugly that they're stylish. They're stylish. You know? (laughs) It's just like... (sighs) I don't understand why clear bags came into the Mm. trend. Like, who... Who wants to see what's what's in your bag? Who wants to see your croissant that's in your bag? I mean, yes, I want it. <laughs> but like right. Well, I know a lot was of it, s- was it the croissant people trying to like market themselves and <laughs> advertise and they were just came out with the clear bags. <laughs> you know, I know a lot the of snacking industry. <laughs> There's a culprit. I think it was more of the sports industry. Sports industry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> because yeah. a lot of stadiums and I noticed the college I went to doing the same thing, it was clear bags so that you could see what, you know, people had in their bag. They're not bringing in bad stuff. Mm-hmm. Let's put it that way. It just made things a quicker process. So And they kept those bags. They're like, well, I don't want to make this a waste of money, so I'm going <laughs> to take this everywhere I go. Right. It's Everyone kind- can see all the condoms that are in my bag, <laughs> my lipstick. <laughs> yeah, so much for that night away. It, everyone knows what's going on. <laughs> now what's trending is those TikTok le- leggings that have like a scrunch in your butt crack, so it makes your butt cheeks look so bad. Yo, TikTok is out here making musicians famous it's out here setting fashion trends they'll so tell much you how- trendy stuff going on there i'm just saying- how should i dance at the club <laughs> uh, in addition to clear bags though clear shoes no yeah. are we cinderella no <laughs> this is 2021 no it's like if you know there's shoes for a reason why would we want to see your feet i just <laughs> There's, there is a style, you know, they did that like strapless style where it's one strap over the toes and then one strap over the ankle. I thought that was super sexy. Yeah. Love it. Have a pair myself. Clear shoes are just like ugly. It's, it's like a clear sock. <laughs> it's what are we trying to do here? Yeah. I don't know what's going on. I s- totally support people who wear all black. I don't know if I necessarily. Personally understand it but i think that's i would you know if you're trying to vogue that's very in style yeah from what i'm understanding yeah my mom would be like why are you so dark <laughs> what do there's light in here why you got to be a shadow in here it's so depressing uh, i will say though like whenever i go mm-hmm. in to see my mom and she's she's from russia so like she you know culturally like things are different with style and everything, but also mm. with beauty, like mm. routines and stuff like that. So I come home, my mom will notice right away. She's like, You haven't been applying lotion to your skin. You're looking crusty. <gasps> <laughs> You're looking crusty. crusty. Okay. <laughs> like, okay, thanks. I can remember trying to describe my dry skin to my mom, and I'm like, I'm s- I feel stale. Stale. I'm stale. Like a stale potato. Chip. And my mom's like, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I was like, I'm stale. So how do you unstale yourself? Well, for me, I use, like, okay. For all the ladies out there with rosacea and sucky skin, I use Sika Pear. I love, or mm-hmm. it's it's Dr. Jarts. I literally love this stuff. I use it every day. Again, not sponsored by Dr. Jarts, but I do love it. I, it's all about figuring out the right moisture for your skin. Mm-hmm. So, like, I need... A light to a medium moisturizer, but some people might need heavier moisturizer. Right. This crazy bitch over here made me do an egg white mask, 
And not going to lie, it was the most rejuvenating thing I've ever tried. But it was also the weirdest thing I've ever tried. It was with sour cream. Oh, I'm sorry. Egg whites and sour cream. It was like, what? It was only one egg. Yeah. Not egg whites. It was actually the full egg. It was. So it did have the yolk in it. Yeah. So it had the yolk in it. Mix Mm -hmm. it up with some sour cream. Right. On your face and voila. You, it's but what is it supposed to do? Help you look younger, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> not like, like it, we need that, but <laughs> right? considering no, but we're twenty one and can bright, barely get into bars, a, but not not just that, but it's a brightening mask, most of right. all. So right. it like, brightens your face. Yeah. We'll um we'll put the link <laughs> below for uh Sasha's, It's in Russian. <laughs> it's her it's her Russian how to look younger oh coconut oil God. massage. Well I mean, Liza Kashi even said the other day, she's like and these are this is not an exact quote because Lord knows my memory's not good enough for that. <laughs> um, but she goes, I will crucify the person who brings back low rise jeans. Like, that is not a thing anymore. No. No. No, no, no. I feel uncomfy. I do. <laughs> the only way I can show off my figure is with a mom jean. My <laughs> my figure from how baggy those things are. They be cute. They be super cute. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh. Every single person though that wears skinny jeans looks like a frog standing <laughs> up with their skinny legs. <laughs> Just like it doesn't work. And you know and the frog's body is just so like round and ovally because of the low rise. Like that's mm-hmm. what we look like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bro, you wonder what that little flap is at the bottom of the low rise jeans. And it It's called your organs. <laughs> My wine cellar is down there. Yeah, your wine <laughs> cellar. Honestly, it's portable. Mm-hmm. Like that sounds amazing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good for you. Follows I'm, you I'm wherever. You. Oh, thank you. Oh hey. shit. I think we uh <laughs> I think we cheers this segment to all the lost souls of the fashion industry, that being the saggy <laughs> pants, the zebra stripes, and everything in between. Oh <laughs> cheers. I will say the weirdest thing that I've seen on a fashion runway is probably this eyeball dress. Literally, this girl was wearing an eyeball on her head. Why? <laughs> because that's what I'm going to wear to my 9 a.m. class is an, an eyeball, eyeball on my head. <laughs> Me when I forget my glasses. Just bring my <laughs> little eyeball head. Maybe my professor will think I'm actually paying attention this So time. I have better vision of just that and also just my life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Where it's going. So as your fashion analyst for today. And experts. <laughs> And professionals and all things Vogue, <laughs> we are going to be going through a Vogue article on the fashion trends of, I believe, 2021. Is that right? That is correct. Spring of 2021. Spring of 2021. So we're going to give you all of what Vogue is basically saying in this article on what is going to be in style this spring of 2021. So since you're wearing black and white, <laughs> you want to start us off with the first thing that's on this list, list, that's monochrome magic. Listen to this description, folks, and we'll put the article again in our like description. But so it's a world with no simple answer. So we're looking at solid black and white. Solid yeah. Black. So basically it's Hold like on. checkered black and white. Anything in black and white, really. Yeah, and it says it's archive rolls of fabric while also Chanel crisp layering. I have to say, again, I'm not a black and white person, but as far as my style of clothes, like I'm very <laughs> co- colorful, but if black and white is your style, this monochrome magic is definitely the way to go. If you're a senior in college and you're looking to get a job, this is probably the outfit you want to go with. Oh yeah, black pants, white tap. <laughs> you are you are getting that job if you wear monochrome magic. The next look is the new look bralette. So this is basically a bralette it says it's stomach clen- it's a stomach clenching trends to say about it. basically you're gonna be uh, honing in the jennifer lopez in 1998 <laughs> so i and feel it is- like the bralette never went out of style no. though since she brought it 
to no, the world. I love it. And it is what like it sounds like. It's just like wearing a bralette. So for all my Floridians out there, <laughs> this is nothing new. <laughs> no. If you take this off and then you cut this in half, like 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 crop it up a little bit. Ready? Hold on. <laughs> You're all in style, folks. <laughs> I agree. You know what? Anything to keep them sweat beads off my forehead. The sweat beads. Mm-hmm. So next up is do the floss. And by that, I don't mean the dance. I mean the actual outfit. So this is like midriff flossing. So we're going from the bralette to just like having the stomach showing a little <laughs> bit. And so basically skirt and bralette. We just added on a skirt to that for the do the floss. There's so many like ties when it comes to doing the floss that's what gets me because i'm not i'm i want simple you know i'm like a man who doesn't want drama i want simple and this thing is all about ties somewhere oh straps straps Straps, that's a better word floss (laughs) the dentists all around the world are very happy that this is a style of tbh went to the dentist and they actually we're not happy with me because I don't floss. <laughs> when are they ever, though? I don't think they're ever happy with anyone. <laughs> that, that's fair. They're like, you floss five days a week, floss seven, seven days. Again, women want it simple. This is, I mean, yes, beauty is pain, but this is a whole different level of pain. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just too many straps. I just get so confused <laughs> and lost like I did when I was a kid in the grocery store with my mommy. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You're like, there's too many options of food. <sighs> Our next Vogue look is called Take the Floor. Now, they start this out, the Vogue article, to quote them. Breath out. <laughs> wow. Um, basically, it's a floaty maxi dress nothing more to it personally i think maxi dresses were a 2013 look that's again that's just me nope. i'm nope. not really about this look i'm more of like the tight kind of look right if now. you want to look like a balloon go for it <laughs> right right again and i'm i know mom jeans aren't like tight but i just feel like it's too it's like just like a dress that makes it look like a little stick, a balloon stick, a balloon, a stick. flowing balloon stick. <laughs> you know, my mom always is like, "You gotta wear something that shows off your figure." This is not something that shows off your no. figure. Mom jeans, on the other hand, yes, it is mom all jeans. about like colorful, flowy dresses. So like there's that, but I, and I'm all you know me. I'm all about color, but the. Oh. I'll take it over the eyeball <laughs> look on the over the fashion show. Let it go. That's my <laughs> point. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> but you know where we're not letting go? Comfy baggy pants. Ooh. With this next look with wide strides. It's all about the baggy pants. So And AKA, we're not talking about these kind yes. of stripes. <laughs> not talking about that. Uh, no, strides. 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 <laughs> let's let's be let's Yeah. Be. So it's uh, great for hiding food when you're going to the movie theater, if that ever happens again. Mm-hmm. You know, because you got all the baggy bagginess and the baggy pants. You got lots of room to put your snacks in. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. They kind of look like that, like, score long look that my grandma wore to my <sighs> cousin's wedding. Uh, but definitely... If you're going shopping and you're looking at something and you're like, I could easily hide snacks in this. <laughs> that is wide strides, my friend. Just just shove them up the long leg. Yep. There yep. you go. No one, literally no one will know. Nobody it's kind, knows. You know what else it's kind of like? Is the flare jeans. It's no. like now. No, well, it's not. No. It is no, too, not. but on an extended flare level. Flare just like wide at the bottom. This no. is this is that just you you're wide from like bottom the top thigh At least like down even. from the thigh down. Like, right <sighs> it's okay. Can. Some of us prioritize the snakes. It's all right. Moving on to um, what is called the cape blend. Now, as Edna from The Incredibles said, no capes. So we're saying no, <laughs> and I said no as well. <laughs> I feel like child me would be like, hell yeah. <laughs> but me right now, I'd be like, no caps. Mm. To quote the article, there's no better way to describe Spring's weakness for cape detailing. But 
again, I just feel like capes are not, like, who is going to wear a cape? Look, not even, like, Captain Marvel or any of the other superheroes are wearing capes, okay? No Except capes. for Superman. No capes. No capes. <laughs> Also, so isn't it isn't it a hazard? You know, if you're it walking is. through the street, what if you and trip? Then, what, what if you trip? But also, what if it just like gets hooked onto a tree and now, now you're stuck because <laughs> Vogue said that capes were in, <laughs> and now you're stuck with the tree. What if it gets stuck under a car wheel while you're trying to cross the street? Who oh, knows? There's a million. My God, this took a turn. There's character. a million possibilities that could happen with this cape. I'm just saying. That Not a hero move. I agree. Next up is living room disco. I'm so into this because, you know, all about dancing, get into that disco vibe. So apparently it's all about like athletics track, you know, with sneakers, a baseball cap, um, but with sequin. So basically anything that's got like glitter and sparkles on it. Is the living room disco. It's literally a modern take on the 70s, and I, I'm fucking all about it. And I love also, it. also, it's so modern, because now with COVID, mm-hmm. we can't even go out to the club or anything. Like, we gotta make the living room <laughs> disco in our club. Hey, turn it into a party, No disco folks. ball, no worries. I'll just be the disco ball <laughs> in my living room. It's fine. <laughs> just turn it into a party. Yeah, yeah. I am all about this look. As I said, love the sparkle. So, um, anything with a sparkle added to it, you know, it just it gives it a little pop to life without giving it too much. But then we have um, cut out and keep. Now, this is an interesting one. So, it says cutouts worked their way into gowns, concealing and revealing. Concealing and revealing. I, are we talking about a makeup ad here? No, I mean, we're talking about college students that don't have enough money to buy their own clothes. So you can <laughs> basically make new clothes by just cutting holes in the ones that you already have. I do that for the gym all the time. Ooh. Except I don't cut holes. I actually just cut do that. a straight straight line. Oh, I see. I actually you know? do that with like at college games when they give you like free t-shirts and stuff yeah, like that. Exactly. I cut it to like make a crop, you know, make like a cool like shape in the back or something. Exactly. I mean, I think that's a style. I just don't think you need to pay the money for it the- that's you know but again no no this is a diy this is a d thing here girl i could not agree with you more i think vogue is Crafting on point is in vogue <laughs> i think vogue is on point with this trend i think you can do it yourself though for much cheaper next up we've got return of the corset as if the pandemic in 1919 arriving back in 2019 wasn't enough history keeps repeating itself with this corset so in other words bridgerton is here and coming back and i feel like now that bridgerton is out <laughs> vogue decided that in spring 2021 courses are gonna be a thing daphne is that you <laughs> Can we just say, do corsets even go out of style? I think they've always been a thing. I can remember prom in 20, what, 2015 and corsets were the thing. Yeah, for prom. I really just think they're reinventing it. All right, next one is Lady with a Twist. Now, I love this because (laughs) anything with a hoodie is, for me, in style. Mm. So this is, like, they do a hoodie look and you can do any- Basically look like a marshmallow. Not what I was going for, but okay. <laughs> Their marshmallowy cotton embraces. Look to the catwalks of Prada, Chanel, and Celine for pointers on how to keep things low key. I think but nonetheless, looks. Sure? Lady with a twist. Basically, we're looking at hoodies with pleated skirts. So this is a mix of like guy and girl brings into modern fashion kind of look, and I'm kind of loving it. This is if you know like, what I'm talking about. Yeah, luxury like hoodies. <laughs> Lux- hey, mm-hmm. if I'm gonna go hoodie, I'm gonna go hoodie all the way. College kids, take note. You know what this reminds me of? Wearing dresses with sneakers. Like, that's in. Mm. <laughs> I, I'm i all about that. Converse. I mean, Air Force Ones, Converse. White, white shoes with a dress. Oh. It can literally be any kind of shoe. Sneaker. <laughs> like, high tops. I'm, I'm all about it is my point. All right. So, next up is the net benefit. It's saying that if there was ever a time to shop smart, it's now. So, it's all about fishnets, 
So forget about tights because fishnet tights are back in style. I feel like fishnets make anything sexy, but also there is no also fishnets make <laughs> uh, they make everything look sexy. Oh. I'm all about it. Layering. I mean, this is kind of cool because you can if you did a black fishnet over like a pink, Whoa, so dramatic, something sexy. I'm all about it. You wow. know, that could definitely work. So it's same, but it, you should layer it over bodysuits. Which so would be so anything, cute. Yeah. I, I'm not going to lie. I do have like a fishnet like lawn sleeve that I like put over like a bralette. Yeah. I'm down yes. for that. I'm down for that. That's, Curl, I know we in COVID times, but that be the party vibe. <laughs> and our last one for tonight is Between the Stripes. That's right. There's a reason I look like a referee tonight. <laughs> Between the Stripes is back, folks. We're talking bigger. We're talking, as to quote the article, ballsier and better. So stripes are in. And they're also paired with neon, apparently. It's big and ballsy. So <laughs> that's our timer. On that note, uh, just to finish up real quick, I think take their advice if it has to do with neon. But if you're gonna look like a a referee, as I do right now, don't do it. Oh my god, are they like low on referees these days? Apparently, are people not applying to referee jobs? Because as I said before, you gotta dress for the job you want, right? <laughs> So, like, are people trying to, like, give off the vibe that, like, hey, you're a referee now. Yeah, thank you. Come work with us. What was your favorite Vogue trend? I really liked uh, the bralette one, the new look bralette. Mm -hmm. I um, really liked the living room disco. And, you know, <laughs> as me, out of college, I feel like I should really like uh, and try out cutout and keep <laughs> being fresh from college, you know. <laughs> yes. I not have enough money just like cut up some stuff <laughs> as i said i'm all about the cutout oh, lady with a twist the hoodie one there were so mm. many good ones i think that we need to cheers to a spring of the cutout and keep how do you feel <laughs> oh yeah and uh making a fish your new spirit animal because according to vogue fishnets are back in Alright, ladies and gents, so that is everything and everything on how to fill your closet. You can take <laughs> it or leave it. Either, you know, go with the food stains that we were talking about earlier. Or you can go with the uh, lady with a twist. <laughs> hoodie and a maxi skirt. On a, a Vogue and a, a official <laughs> stuff like that. Either way, we got you covered here at the Tipsy Lime. Follow us on our socials at the Tipsy Lime Pod. Make sure to follow our channel here on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and... And if there's any questions you would like to hear on our tip line, please feel free to message us, DM us on the Tipsy Live pod at any of our socials. Bye, guys. See you soon.